gentlemen children monkeys of all ages welcome back to the circus and welcome to another you saw the title so you know what's up you know i gotta get the coffee on the right side i don't know why i don't just leave this over here <laughs> but uh shout out to kevin collin uh they are pumping out some knife designs but this is about a requested video from one me with knives that is right brother mark had asked me if i would compare and contrast the, my beloved spider co shaman with he wants to know how they compare directly to the hoag six hour k320 he said you know this one's M4, micarta, you know, try and ignore the difference in materials, steels, etc. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try and figure out how to do that. I mean, that's the main comparison that I would draw, or the main difference I would draw between these two. But as it would turn out, I happen to have access to an S30V blacked out shaman. But before we even get to that, <laughs> pocket check. Because, tow. This is what was in pocket today. We have the Exotac fire sleeve. We have a ninja block. We have the Olight i 3 t EOS titanium. From one brother, Kyle Noseworthy, this one from Brother Ninja, of course. The background, of course, thanks to Yonan's Edge and Mrs. Edge, in case you missed the Yonan's Edge logo over there. Small folder today was the Spider Co. Little Native in S90V and the ZT LMAX, yeah, and titanium. Uh, courtesy of uh, Brother Satu Dave and Brother Tyler at Everyday EDC. Thank you guys again for the uh, tag team gift on this one. I appreciate you both sincerely. Um, and Brother Ninja and Brother Kyle. And of course, all my love goes out to Mrs. Edge and Yonan. Love you guys. But, um, so many good spider codes, man. It would be easy to just be an all spider co channel. Let's talk about just these two knives. Compare, contrast, same blade steel, both coated blades, both uh, plastic handles for all intents and purposes, G10 versus a polymer. This being the same polymer they have on the P320 Pew Pew. Both have a drop point blade, both have a forward choil, and uh, a kind of a bit of a roll behind that, almost another choil, but uh, let's talk about them. How are they the same? That's pretty much it. That's where the, the, the end of it is. This one's a compression lock, this one's an axis lock. This one has a clip that is not deep carry, but it functions fairly well. This one has a deep carry clip that will absolutely shred your pants. Um, <clears throat> there are aftermarket clips for both of them though. So if that's a big deal to you, um, swap them out. This one is most likely going to get swapped out. I usually just take the clips off of my shaman and I keep telling myself I'm going to throw a lanyard on them and I never do. But uh, they are really pocket droppers sometimes going in a leather slit. And then getting over this texture which is awesome as far as grip which you need <laughs> in order to actuate this by the axis lock. It does have the axis assist. In fact it has an incredibly strong axis assist so um yeah great knife the the deployment slot on this one is it takes some getting used to uh the reverse flick 
once you get used to it isn't a problem just like the thumb but uh, isn't a natural motion like it is if you're used to a Spyderco. But Spyderco, let's be honest, was not a natural motion when I got my first one. Just once you have one, they all kind of feel the same as far as deployment, at least most of the ones I have um, experienced in terms of compression locks and uh, the Manix 2. The, even by the time it broke in, the, the Native 5 Salt was, was fairly comparable not quite as smooth you had to give it a little bit of an extra oomph but it did flick open now um price difference that is one of the major differences for people this is a great substitute for a shaman but it is not a shaman if you prefer the axis lock over compression locks if you've had a pair of three or a pm2 and you didn't like that compression lock then you may and you do like the axis lock you would probably prefer this and once you get used to it it deploys just fine um it has a four position pocket clip both of them do oddly enough i mean there are so many parallels to be drawn between these two knives but uh at the end of the day without a button it is difficult to uh, especially under the camera at this angle. Um, it is difficult to deploy the knife consistently with the compression lock. Once you get used to doing it, you can. You're going to ding the daylights out of the end of your finger with that nub. You know what nub I'm talking about. So, yeah, that thing punches you in the finger every time you close this if you don't time it just right to get it out of the way. This one's not a problem. This one's just uh, the only problem I have ever had is one time this one almost kind of skinned my finger. It, it like, okay. Um, but uh, it is a great worker. Both of them great workers. This one narrower than the stock on the Shaman by just a hair. Uh, jumping here, nowhere near as aggressive as on the Shaman, but you you can front flip the shaman too so technically if we take the locking mechanisms out of the equation as far as deployment the shaman has two and i'm not even gonna try that with my left hand uh the six hour has one there is no front flipping this or anything else so um that is it but like i said works very well Ooh, let me grab a quick drink so once again coffee night coffee cutting it with coffee just uh black as your soul as stevie would say um but yes both of them fidgety at least for me fidgety enough um if you're a lanyard person, they both have lanyard attachment points. They both have kind of sucky clip situations that a lot of people don't like. That I mean, I might eventually try a, an aftermarket clip on a Shaman, but uh, like I said, I just pull the clips off mine and uh, pocket drop them or put them in a leather slip and pocket drop it that way. Um, which would I prefer? I mean, we're still here. Come on, guys. I, I mean, I love this, and thank you again, Sobex. Um, I, I, this is a great knife, and if you just can't bring yourself to, to get past the $150 or so price point, or you just don't have the budget, um, and you, you weren't very, very kindly traded... Uh, traded for one um, just a great great knife uh, the S30V has been a dream it has done a fair amount of work I don't even think I've stropped this and it's still got the edge it came with um, I have not cut anything with this shaman it's probably opened a few boxes knowing my roommate and uh, it is still screaming sharp so uh, Everything, all things being equal, because at this point they are, for the most part, 
pick a locking mechanism, pick a price point, and understand that this one I, I find much easier to actuate. This one I find my, a little bit more comfortable in hand. Um, the choil is a little bit less restrictive without this point on it that the SIG has. And uh, um, both of them made in America, 100%. So I just... This one, I can't tell you what to, if you have smaller hands, I will tell you that this one would probably be more comfortable. If you have larger hands, this one is going to be more comfortable. Small hands can definitely still use this. It's just going to feel a little bit bigger in your hand, even though they stack up and look almost the same. If it's me, I'm probably still going to just save for another few months and, uh, get another shaman it's i mean that's a thing i would honestly like to do anyway uh i would love to buy every shaman that came out that is how much i love the platform uh, i have not handled one of the new aluminum scaled six hours they have different inlay panels and stuff on them like a 1911 scale sort of setup um but if it gets any more comfortable than this and I could probably make this one more comfortable by shaving off this this point a little bit um this is just still just incredibly comfortable in hand you don't feel that that little clip at all that's the upshot of it um it may destroy your pants pocket but uh this is a great worker it feels great in hand it's more affordable so pick the thing that's more uh Man, the more I care, I haven't carried this in a while, so pick the things that are most important to you. So, if you love the Axis Lock, um, even if you have the budget for this one, um, this may still be the way to go for you. Really, Mark, I don't think you could go wrong with either one of these. Now that it's broken in, it is just as smooth as that one. It has different acoustics because of the G10, but uh, still great acoustics. I don't care what you say. And the SIG, um, acoustics are barely a thing with this unless you really fire it out there. So, But... Uh, but great knife still so i wish i could demystify it for you any better the comparisons to be drawn here are just so many that uh, i think it boils down to it's going to be price for some people and it's going to be um, a preference for the locking mechanism for some people and after that it's going to be which pocket clip do you hate more so that's all that that really is all i've got for you brother so um uh, if you got any other questions or if I didn't cover something for you, let me know down there. If anybody else does, please let me know. I'll do what I can to answer you. Otherwise, until I see you again, and I do hope I see you again, stay well, be kind, do good. That's it. This is Grumpy. Me and my coffee. We out.